This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well, someone pulled a bunch of people because, well, it is Monday and... You know, who wants to go back to work on a Monday? But that's uh, that's what happens for a lot of folks. And so this is a perfect question. Is that, hey, man, uh, what would you give up? You know, would you give up specific things to go on a trip? You know, and you have to do it for six months, whatever you give up. But that way you could go on whatever trip you want to go on. Oh, man. But you have to give up something specific for six months. And uh, so they threw a bunch of stuff out there and said, okay, would you give this up to go on a trip? Would you give it up for six months? Anchovies. No problem, guys. <laughs> six oh. months. Oh, tough one there yep. for you, huh? Yeah. I Anchovies give and white t-shirts. I definitely <laughs> give up that. And oh, work. really? The white t-shirts? Are you sure? Because I feel like. <laughs> yeah. And my khaki pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The things I just never wear. <laughs> Ooh, Crocs. Crocs. I could give up Crocs. No, there you I go. Don't. Not this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the red wouldn't be able to give up the Crocs. Yeah, sorry. Why? Uh, you know, uh, I think this would. I think you would have had a. You and Danny would have had a different answer for this, Steve. Wallet had changes. it been p- pre-pandemic. Wow. No, not that. <laughs> oh, uh, if it'd been pre-pandemic, because they said, "How about concerts? No concerts for six months." Pre-pandemic, would you have given them up as opposed to now 71% of the people go, yeah, no oh. problem, boss, because, well, you weren't going for two years. You've learned how not to go. If they say you have to answer immediately, that would be a tough one because I'd like the time to be able to look at what's on the what's on the horizon for the next six months. <laughs> Fair enough. I was going to say, or what did, they, what did they announce? Like, you were like, you agree to it, and then the next day, they're like, Pearl Jam's playing oh. in, in Seattle tomorrow. For, right. They're doing a, yeah. a $20 show, but you can't go. Yeah, and, and we have VIP tickets yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be fantastic. I would, I, I would actually buy those tickets. You just to be Troll. a little Steve. I got, I got these for you. Oh, you oh, can't. Go. Oh, oh, if you do that, I'm walking right up there and slapping you in the face. <laughs> oh hi, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you better take Pearl Jam's wow. name out of your mouth. It was just a ticket joke, Steve. It was a joke about the tickets. I don't care. <laughs> All, right. Um. All right, how about this? Again, this is, we're asking, what would you give up for six months in order to go on a big, you know, go on a big trip? Uh, I don't know if this is, vi- well, this could actually, you know what, I was going to say Vicky, but really, I think Vicky, Danny, Steve, and Rev, especially when it comes to, you know, hockey stuff, stop buying clothes for six months. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, did I that. mean, I could do that, I think, now since I finally got my crack in jerseys. So I think I'm okay. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that so much. That would make Until my wife the happy. the next cool thing comes out that you <laughs> go, six. I want that. Yep. That would make my wife happy, though, if I did that, because she's like, okay, for six months, I know there's not a black t shirt showing up in the mail randomly. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. I, I, you know, and, and I don't know, Vicky, could you do it? That that is hard. That is my kryptonite. Like when I'm not feeling great, like I just get myself like a little something, and that like just makes my whole week. So maybe the concert thing, I could I could do no problem. I I I I'd be a sneak and try to find ways around it. Be like, hey, friends. Oh, I bought fabric and I sewed it into my own clothes. Right. Or friends, <laughs> you right. love me, right? Do you want to buy this for me? Uh, <laughs> Gift it to me. Uh, it's yeah, on my I'm Amazon not, uh, wish list. Who wants to get it for me? And they should really say stop buying and getting clothes for six yeah. months. That that that's what I would say mm-hmm. because you know, yeah, you can loophole your way into that one. Um, how about things like massages and spa treatments? Am I the only one that would say yeah, no to that? Yeah, I don't get any of those. Neither so. do I. Yeah. 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 Uh, 64% say, yeah, I can stop buying clothes. 63%, which I'm not a part of, will stop things like massages. 
And uh, this one, again, I think is easy because of the fact that we've gotten used to it. No trips to the movies for six months. Easy. That would have been tough for no me. Problem. Done. Yeah. 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 I could do that for six years. <laughs> see, yeah, now that's that true. They, see, now that they're not doing the HBO Max like <laughs> simultaneous thing, I would have a problem with this one. I still want to yeah. go see movies. I still need to go see the Batman, but I want to go see it <laughs> in the theaters. <laughs> just with a little patience that you could get it on your own television. That's true. We just started F9, the Fast and the Furious movie. And look, I didn't have to wait. I, I oh, just started it. it. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Rev, no longer do I try and think that we're going to watch a movie in one sitting. I view it almost like as a mini series. <laughs> So, yeah, no that's a good call. What. Right. But as far as how long is each episode, however long it takes for my wife to fall asleep. <laughs> hey, with a toddler, uh, that's not a bad accomplishment, you know, if you can get it done in a couple of nights. Right. We're two parts in already. <laughs> oh, good <laughs> for you. Parts of which chapter? Right. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> chapter first 45 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, and finally, what people are saying is what they could do is cook at home and avoid restaurants for six months. Yeah, I couldn't do that. No way. Not, not for a big oh, trip. No way. We could. That might be the hardest one of all of these. It would be mm -hmm. hard, but I think we could do it. Because we only oh, speak go out for yourself. I was going to say, we only, well, me and my girlfriend only go out Oh, even for all of us, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. No, we're not doing no, it, Danny. No, I, I know you, you guys yeah. can do whatever. Stop but. using that wrong pronoun with me, Danny. No. <laughs> You guys don't have a problem with that. No, because she we only eat out maybe twice a week, maybe, and that's it's usually just Friday nights. So we just have to cut that out. And she she's a great cook, and then I have the Traeger, so we're good to go. Well, you know what? Yeah, think about Danny's life. The best girlfriend ever. She he doesn't have to take her out, and he doesn't have to put the heat on. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I, I, I the, the, oh, he's got to put the heat on in other ways, <laughs> BJ. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right, well, this conversation can only get worse. I think I will end it there. Congratulations to all involved. Yay. <laughs> On Friday, uh, the real tragic news came out that Taylor Hawkins, the drummer for Foo Fighters, died at the age of 50. And we're going to be talking more about Taylor later in the show, but we wanted to start the show off with the Foo Fighters in honor of Taylor on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Mix Report. Well, thanks, you guys, and thanks to Jersey Mike Subs for giving us the Mix Report. And today, maybe the day to jump into a hot tub. It's National Hot Tub Day. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw Red posted like a picture of a hot tub saying he was going to have like, sex in it or something. What? Oh, what? Didn't you post wow. like, a picture of like an Xbox hot tub? No, that was Max. Oh, damn it. Did you comment on it? Uh, no. The man. I think you're just thinking of different fat guys. No. Different dudes with beards. <laughs> That's what it <laughs> is. Like crazy. Yeah. You know, my, my, mine works weird on the weekends. It sure it does, I was, man. Uh, the entire morning, I was like, oh, I'll bring it up about that cool hot tub that the Rev was in. And no, it wasn't you. <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It's I, our I mutual did, friend, Max. I did see the picture, though, and it looked badass. I do love that you knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. There's this crazy hot tub, and it looked like an Xbox controller or something along those lines. Yeah, it lines. looked like an old school Xbox. It was like green and black, and it looked really sweet. And he said he was uh, going to have sex in it. I'm like, Rev, getting a little, a little raunchy. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Apparently not. Well, you know what? Rev, today is now a day for you. It's Respect Your Cat Day, so be Aww. nice to Frank, be nice to Carl. BJ, be nice to both of his cats for once. Yeah, come on, um, just for I once. Don't have, I don't really interact with them, so I've never been mean to them. <laughs> you say mean things on the air about them, man. You're so mean to them. Oh, well, I listen. I mean, as far as I know, they're not listening, and as far as I know, they can't he understand the language anyway, oh, and as totally far as do. I know, I don't give a damn. So no. I feel like, uh, really, those three reasons are why I'm not going to really, you know. Wow. Oh, you really got to them. All right, fine, then just be nice. Just, that's yeah. all I'm asking for, man. Uh, well, I'm, I think I'm very, very nice. I, I'm neutral with these cats. It's the best I can do. Uh, but if they get into my face, then, I would, then we're going to have a problem. Oh, Vicky you found the hot tub. Uh, oh, really? So you can see what it looks like there. Oh, right? yeah, that's Red right in there having sex. I don't know oh, what yeah, he's talking about. That. Oh, there you. I, there I, I am right there. I, I knew I saw it. So yeah, have, there he is right there <laughs> having sex. Uh, I don't know what Carl and Frank are doing there. I'm going to leave that alone. Well, hopefully wow. being respected. Yeah. Oh, I feel like uh, there's a lot of disrespect going on in that Xbox hot tub. <laughs> All right, let's talk about a guy in Texas, man. Talk about being embarrassed. He was in some nice hotel suite, uh, enjoying some uh, good times at the luxurious St. Regis Hotel in Houston. Oh, okay. But then something bad happened to him, BJ. He accidentally shot himself in the crotch. Oh, no. That's not a good what? 
cops trying to figure out what happened. They believe either he was unpacking the gun, not the love oh, gun, right. but the actual gun. Oh, the real gun. <laughs> or pulling it from his pants when it went off. Yeah. And they say they described him as a young man. He's going to be okay. Maybe a little embarrassed, but he's going to live. Yeah, see, this is why you're never going to see me being that guy. I am not going to put a firearm anywhere near my privates. That had to have been a weird phone call, the 911 call. Like, I just saw, I'm at this nice hotel. I shot myself in the boys. Yeah, and dude, you're. I see people, you know, like sometimes in the movies, they'll put it in the backside. You know, they'll oh. they'll put it, and you're just like, dude, you're going to give yourself a couple of different openings there. I, I just, uh, and then that, and then there's going to be confusion. You know, when the highway's running, I, yeah, I'm not doing any of that. Yeah, I'd rather get shot in the butt than the junk, though. Ah, but there's the. What if oh, you get geez. shot in the wrong part of the butt? You know what I mean? Well, you know, like, what if you're like Luke Skywalker and you actually make the perfect shot and blow up the Death Star? You know what I'm saying? Oh. Wow. Mm. I still think I'd rather still have that happen. You would rather jump. have a bullet go through uh, Uranus? I mean, <laughs> travel to that planet? You'd rather have a bullet travel to Uranus? I would rather neither, BJ. But oh, all right. In the well, game of okay. which would I rather? Uh, yes, I'd, I'd rather have shot up the what skis Ooh. than uh, shot in the dong skis. Yeah, I don't know. If, uh, yeah, I feel like it would get both. That's the problem. I feel like it's close enough to the the boys area that that kind of thing that, that like the, the the explosion of the whole thing would really that's I yeah I, you know what I mean man yeah. here you are just, you're dropping hard questions on me on a Monday morning yeah I know dude <laughs> I, I just here's the thing you may be in a position when you get kidnapped someone will go all right Steve we are going to shoot you in the boys or shoot you in the other place you choose and if you don't have informed information you might make the wrong choice is this a spanish kidnapper or a russian kidnapper i'm having a hard time figuring well, out okay. it, yeah because yeah, right now we're you know we, we, we we're, we're semi against russia so uh, yes i was feeling some antonio banderas right? vibes, though. Yeah. oh really antonio Wait. banderas tried said, to do a, a russian accent well first off i want to say this to you <laughs> oh yeah you're right it does sound, <laughs> it sounds a totally like that, that. I yeah, uh, I really was trying to do Russian, but you're right. It sounded it sounds more like Antonio. You know, shoot right. me in the ears, so I don't have to hear you do an impression again. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't one of the choices. It's a whole. What do you want? A uh, whole. What? It's a whole. What do you want? Okay, then. Uh, you know what? I feel like that's really the wisdom of today. All right, dude, these guys are just idiots. They're two drug dealers, and you know, you always say if you're doing something illegal, don't do other illegal things because you're going to get caught for doing the illegal thing. Well, they were oh, driving okay. around on. 2.30 in the morning on a Friday night in Nebraska. They uh, ran a red light, and they almost crashed into it as well. Fortunately, a cop oh. noticed what was going on, pulled them over to give them a ticket, but when he was pulling over a 45-year-old woman by the name of Maggie and a 35-year-old guy by the name of Robert, what did he notice? A glass pipe on the floor. Of course. Yep. Then a bunch of drugs were there, nine ounces of meth, 171 prescription pills, some magic mushrooms. Wow. wow. And two glass pipes. They were out to party. Yeah. Yeah, they were. They should have just stayed home or gone to the woods. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> well, also, they believe that might have been dealing because of all the number of drugs that they had. Wow. Ah, so they had, a mo- they had the mobile business going on. All rumors are going on about DK Metcalf. I don't think there anything's going to happen just yet, but the rumor is now that the Jets are interested in him. I heard that rumor myself. So who knows if that's going to happen? How we, crazy would it be if we got those draft picks back that we traded, to, uh, you know, to get in the fruit wing? To get Jamal Adams? Exactly. Yeah. What if we was like, all right, you know what? We want those draft picks back. We shouldn't have done it. Oh my gosh! What a that's what will be looked down on as like one of the worst trades. I mean, I hope Jamal turns out to be a stud player for the Hawks, but because he seems like a good dude, and I like him when he's out on the field. But with the injuries. That could yeah. be one of the biggest busts bus they've ever had, and something that'll be brought up forever. Yeah. All right, well, hopefully that doesn't happen, especially because it just seems like DK's having some fun on Twitter. He's been responding to people that have been giving the hard time to Drew Locke. He's just had a good attitude. He's been doing interviews where he's talking about how he wants to take up more of a leadership role with the team, and now he's part of a group of players giving a brand-new player a hard time because of that guy's name. I don't know if you saw this on Twitter. I have not. But, you know, the Seahawks got a new player. Man, I don't even know if I could even come close to pronouncing his name but uh it's i'm gonna try but you know what we'll have him say it so you can hear him say it because he did a video where he's like hey i'm i'm this guy i'm now a member of the seattle seahawks and here's how it went what's up guys joel lee anyway inside linebacker excited to be in seattle heard great things about this place let's get to work so joel iego anyway Oh, I thought he said Joel Lee. I thought that was his first name. Is that so? Joel is his first. Joel's name. his first name, and okay. then his last name BJ is spelled, and this would never be used on Wordle, thankfully. But it's I Y I E G B U N I W E. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't know how to say that. Could you play just that first part again when he says his name? Yeah. What's up, guys? Joel Lee. Anyway, inside. 
Ali Abuniwe. Ali. Yeah, well, anyways, uh, okay. uh, Quadri Diggs said, Did you say your last name's Booneyway? <laughs> Well, I'm glad that I'm glad that you know Dig said that because I feel like I would probably get Will I, I would get Will Smith if I said that to him. And then CK Metcalf chimed in as well, laughing about it. And I think Joel wrote something to the extent of like, "Am I gonna have to like basically pull a Will Smith on my new teammates?" That's fantastic. I said, "Oh, y'all start quick around here. Uh, don't start a fight you're not willing to finish. Ask my old teammates." Wow. <laughs> Okay. A bunch of smiling and laughing. It's not like real beef, but Joel Iabunawe. I don't. Yeah, I feel like a linebacker. I am not going to make fun of his name. I think he. he you know what? He makes a very good point. Are you sure you want to start this fight? Plus, he's. Just, I mean, it's, it's, it's a picture of him signing his contract. He's got a dress shirt on. Man, that dress shirt looks like it's about to. He's about to pull an incredible Hulk on it. Dude, <laughs> oh, really? Oh, Look at those muscles. Dude, those arms are huge. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm, okay. I'm not messing with Joel. Oh, no, not at all. Uh, it looks I mean, like he's wearing arm floaties. Yeah. Yes. And that smile looks like it's like, you know what? I'm smiling, but really I'm not. I'm yeah. about to punch you in the eye. Call me booty way one more time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is exactly you. what that smile is. Yeah, do not mess with me, brother. Well, the cracking got kicked in the booty way over the weekend. Oh, against did Against the Los Angeles Kings, and they played him again tonight. We'll see what happened. Yeah. Last time they played them was it Saturday. They lost four to two. Mm-hmm. They played yeah. tonight. It's at seven thirty. If you want to watch the game, they're in Los Angeles. As far as yeah. weather, we're going to hit a high of fifty four. It's going to be cloudy. And thanks to Whole Food Whole Foods Market for giving us the news report. There you go. The then the announcers are going to have a tough time with that name. I think though that they're professionals, unlike us, and they probably will really practice. The locals, <laughs> yes. But the national, there's been times where you only notice it because when they do your your team. Oh, right. And you'll like, be like, dude, it, you know, it's not. You remember when they were calling him like DJ Metcalf or something like that? Oh, that's a good point. You, yeah. you don't think they're going to have a tough time with Joel's name? You may be right about that. I, I, look, forward to, uh, I look forward to this now. Now, you know what? I'm going to pay attention to this. And now that, uh, you know, uh, Joe Buck and uh, Troy Aikman are not on uh, Fox anymore. You know, we're going to get a, whoever. I don't know who the B. I don't know who the B team was because I'm not sure we ever even had the B team for our games this year. We were so bad. I think we had the F team. So I don't know who's going to take over and be the number one team for Fox now that they're over over at ESPN now. Ah, no idea. But I know people will complain about them when their team's losing. That's my favorite. That the signs of you being mad at the team. It starts with being mad at your team, mm-hmm. then being very mad at the referees. All right. Then end bitching about the announcers. That, that's I, when it starts. Yeah. Every time I'm on social media, that's exa- I'll see it. I'll, and you just watch it progress, and it's like it always ends with "I hate these announcers," and it's just like eh, these announcers are pretty indifferent to me. Yeah, yeah I, 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 you know, I, I don't feel the same way, especially about Joe Buck. Other people do. I know that he comes off as arrogant and annoying, but I've, uh, I, I've always liked the dude because of his relationship with his dad, being in the business, and uh, and saw him on Brock Meyer. So, and he was really, I thought, really fun on that TV show, the Hank Azaria TV show. Yeah. So, um, but I know what you mean, Steve. That's a, that's a good progression, you know. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, when you get mad at the team, you know, and then and then third in are the announcers. Yeah. It's like okay, then you really know your team sucks because you're complaining about the announcers. Absolutely. It happens all the time. Whenever the Seahawks are losing, it's like man, all of a sudden these are the worst announcers in the world, according to social media. On Friday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. Sarah Jessica Parker plays Carrie in what 2022 HBO Max show? I don't know. It's the stupid show with the girls from Manhattan. Well, you technically passed. Passed. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, arguably, if they said, please describe this show, uh, that was the question. You would have got it right, Steve. (laughs) You would have won the game. But unfortunately, we were looking for the title of the show, and that was, uh, and just like that. Uh, Because it's not Sex and the City. It's a new show with almost everybody from Sex and the City. I know you don't care, and for good reason, you shouldn't. Hey, would you like a shot at beating Steve? 206-421-ROCK. We'll play Beat Migs. We'll do that at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. Here's another question from a listener. If I can't afford to pay my bills, how am I going to afford attorneys and bankruptcy fees? You know, one of the things people ask me all the time as a bankruptcy lawyer is that, how am I going to pay all these fees and costs because I'm here because I can't afford to pay my bills? And, I, of course, we understand that. I mean, being, being in, in the bankruptcy field, 
Uh, but you know, one of the things to remember is is that if you decide once you make the decision to file bankruptcy, you can stop paying on all of the creditors that are going to be included in the bankruptcy, and those are the funds that you can use that you have been paying your creditors to pay your your attorney fees and court costs to get your case filed. And once your case is filed, you're not going to have most of those payments anymore. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.